Hello Golf Pass, Martin Hall coming to you from the beautiful Palm Beach Par 3 where hitting good, accurate irons is essential if you want to score low. Now, I talk a lot about slicing when I do these tips, but people hook the golf ball. Make no mistake, people hook the golf ball. Typically better players tend to hook the golf ball. Now what causes a hook? Let's discuss that and then I'm going to give you a couple of thoughts that you could use to avoid that hook. We tend to hook the ball when the path is too much from inside the target line too much out, in my case because I'm a right-hander, too much from in to out or too much out to the right, and I get the club face a bit close to that path, that will give me a hook. Now, the drill that I'm going to suggest you use came from Nick Price. Take no notice of that noise you hear in the background, I'm going to tell you what it is in a moment, it's coming from this sensor on my wrist. Nick Price would sometimes, even in his heyday, would go to the top and would drop the club a bit too much behind him, it would get a bit too much into out, and he'd get a bit more curve on the ball than he wanted. So if you're in that category, do the Nick Price drill, and that is to go down the grip some good amount. So there's a good six or seven inches of the grip showing there. Obviously the club's off the ground. Go to the top of the swing and then try and stab yourself in your lead thigh. It's a feel, it's not real. But if you tried to stab yourself in your lead thigh here, then that club's going to be out there. It can't be too much into it. It's a great feel, it's a great image to have. If you want to use technology as your partner, which I strongly recommend, then look at the DWIS product. It measures so many metrics, and in this case, I've got it set so that if my hand path drops too much behind my backswing, I will get an electric stimuli will go up my arm, and the iPad will tell me it doesn't like it. It'll talk to me in a, a way that I don't want. So I don't want a negative number. I don't want my hand path to drop under. Let me see what I can do here and see if I can swing without getting a jolt. Because if I took a practice swing, let me show you the bad one. If I took a practice swing, and I really felt the jolt there on the way down, just so you know, that hand path got 2.2 inches inside. You can probably see it on the avatar there on the screen. And that would be exactly what you don't want if you're hooking the golf ball. So if you hook the ball, you'd want something more like this, where the hand path would come down straighter, might even come slightly across. You would avoid the electric impulse. But the feedback with DeWiz is just, well, it's fantastic. That's all I can say. Let's see how I can do here. Trying to avoid that electric stimuli, trying to have a better hand path. Here we go. And that's a bit of a fade, which I meant it to be. And that hand path is one inch above my backswing, which is something that you tend to see with better players, actually, that the hand path might be just slightly above the backswing. That's how they limit the hook. So look, if you want to get rid of a hook, certainly use the wisdom of Nicky Price, one of the best ball strikers we've ever seen, and stab yourself in the lead thigh. And take a look at technology as your friend. Check out the DWIS product. All the best players are using it in this game of golf, and they're improving because of it, and so will you.